This oak bonsai hasn't been repotted for at least four years, so now is the perfect time to repot it. First though, I want to set the branch structure because I can see some structural issues starting to develop where numerous branches are emerging from the same level. I select a trunk line and remove all branches that are starting to contribute to structural issues, namely inverse taper of the trunk. I'm also using some wire to introduce movement into the trunk line that I've selected and to position branches into favourable locations. I'm using 6mm copper wire which, let me tell you, takes some manipulation to apply cleanly. Some say to avoid copper on deciduous, but oak have super thick bark which is unlikely to get damaged and being that I'm wiring a long length of trunk and it's got larger leaves, it would be prone to the sail effect in the wind, potentially moving aluminium wire out of position. If a bonsai is left in the same pot for too long without being repotted, it fills the pot with roots. It becomes difficult to get water into the soil, causing problems in hot weather. And once the soil is saturated, it takes a long time to dry, robbing the roots of oxygen. The health deteriorates, and the next thing you know, it's an emergency. Now to the repot. I'm expecting a tough one. Pulling the moss and weeds off the top, and what do you know, evidence of organic soil around the trunk. It's gonna be another carpal tunnel destroying case of pulling all that anaerobic soil out centimeter by painful centimeter. I do want to leave at least some root mass untouched, so I'm relieved to find some intact Akadama particles, which I'm gonna leave in place as best as I possibly can. Trouble is, now I've pulled all of that unwanted black soil out, I've got a massive void under the trunk. That void, has to be filled in order for roots to re-establish. The thought of a freshly repotted tree flapping around gives me palpitations, so I use tie-down wires to secure the tree firmly into the pot. At the bottom of the pot, I use a slightly larger particle size of Akadama. The rest of the soil is three to five millimeter Akadama purchased direct from a Buki bonsai in Poland. I create a mound of soil to help fill the void underneath the trunk. Seat the tree and get it settled to fill as many air pockets as possible.
Now I'll use my chopstick to work soil into any remaining spaces. I like to top dress with dried shredded moss. Cultivating a moss covering helps roots to establish higher in the soil column. Be sure to check back in 60 years for an update. <laughs> 